Hey guys, welcome back again. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix GeForce Experience login blank screen on your window. So for this guys, I will show you six method for fix this problem. So guys, first one, check the internet connection. Click on this network icon and check here guys internet connection. If it's working properly, then try this second method. The second method is try the another internet connection and the third method temporarily disable the antivirus proxy and firewall settings. So for this guys first open the windows settings. Now select here network and internet. In the right side first select the VPN option. Now disable this VPN settings like this and go back, select the proxy and disable the proxy setting. After this close this format. Now go to start menu, type here Windows security and select this Windows security app. Click on virus and threat protection. Now click on manage settings. So here guys disable the all settings like real time protection and drive protection. Disable to it. And after this must ensure restart your device. The fourth method open the command prompt. Right click on command prompt app and select the run as administrator. Type here guys first command ipconfig space forward slash release and press the enter. Now type the second command ipconfig space forward slash slash vns and hit enter on your keyboard. Type the third command ipconfig space forward slash renew and hit enter on your keyboard. Type the fourth command netsh space int space lp space reset and press the enter. Type the final command netsh space dilsoft space reset and press the enter. Now close the command prompt and must continue restart your device. Hopefully guys this will fix your problem. The fifth method open the GeForce in run as administrator. Same guys like the command prompt right click on GeForce app and right click here and select the run as administrator. The sixth and final method update or Reinstall the NYDIA graphic driver. So, right click on the start menu, select the device manager, expand the display adapters, find here NYDIA driver. For the example, this one, right click on driver, select the update driver, try the first one, search automatically, search automatically for drivers using the online. Click here and complete the process. And if not work, try the second option. Browse my computer for drivers. Select this and select the let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the driver, click on next and complete the process. After this, restart the device and try. And if not work, reinstall the driver. Right click on NYDIA driver. Select the uninstalled device and after the uninstall once again install the driver on your computer hopefully guys this will fix your problem so thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe